My name is Lisa Jones, and the book I wrote is called Broken, A Love Story. And it is the account of my friendship with Stanford Addison, who is a Native American traditional healer and horse trainer, um, who also happens to be quadriplegic. So I went up to Wyoming to do a magazine assignment on Stanford Addison and his horse training techniques, which were famous because he gentled horses rather than broke them. I thought I'd be up there for four days and just come straight home, but literally the moment I met eyes with him, I had a, almost a shock go through my body, and I was absolutely convinced I could never lie to this person or even lie to myself around this person. It was just some kind of completely new energy or consciousness almost that entered my body and it was so upsetting and at the same time so exciting that I knew right then that I would be spending a lot more than four days with him. And then I um, went home and resumed my life and about nine months later I called him and I said, can I just follow you around and write about you for a while and he said sure. It's really something to um, write about someone with his depth of, of spiritual connection and power. It was hard to put words to things and it was there's a lot of uh, in the Arapaho culture a lot of the spiritual ceremonies um, are, are private. The, going through that and kind of the kind of hubris that a white person trained as a journalist has is that, you know, all information is for all people. Well, that's not true. And in that culture, and that, I grew to really respect that. Just to watch somebody who truly isn't motivated by the same things that I am motivated by, like ambition, greed, wanting to get ahead, wanting to survive. He's a person who is truly surrendered to something else, and um, he is and, and it's a, it was a visceral sense. It wasn't like I was a theology student or a divinity student or even knew that's what I was after. But to be near someone who is so close to something divine and it's coming through him is a very visceral experience. What I really want people to feel is that feeling that I got around Stanford. If I have done anything right, I hope it's this. I hope it's that I... Um, portrayed that feeling of being close to a person who's really a holy man, even though he's not a pious holy man and he's fallible and he's funny and he's a lot of other things as well, but to feel that energy and feel that divinity that he's close to, that I got to be close to as well because I was with him so much. Um, that's what I really hope people can get just even a small taste of.